Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the finale of American Horror Story, Roanoke. And obviously, I'm in my shirt and tie to commemorate that it's a finale. I also stuck my jacket over as well, just because it's, it's quite thin, this shirt, so it's quite cold. Yeah, I thought I'd stick this jacket over it, man. Stick my jacket. I'm ready to get into episode 10. This is the finale. Now, is it going to piss me off? Is the finale of Roanoke going to piss me off? Nearly every finale of American Horror Story so far has left me with unanswered questions. What? I wish I didn't see... Why do they... They love making thumbnails, man. They, they love making spoiler thumbnails. Why, is, why does it do that to me? Anyway, the thumbnail is Audrey just sat in a chair. Right, okay. AHS Roanoke, Chapter 10, let's go. I would love to come back because I think we've just only scratched the surface of what makes the butcher tick. Well, the butcher seemed to have scratched everybody's surface. <laughs> <laughs> Especially me. Yeah, let's get, let's get Cricket back. Oh, mate, everyone's loving it. Everyone's individually loving this. I need to say, I totally identify with Lee, who I feel has had some really nasty and unfair things said about her online. Lee, I made you something. I'd love to give it to you. She isn't from the UK. That's a f really badly put on accent. I'd love to give it to you. Cool. That's that flashback over. Let's get to the down a nitty gritty. She took my babies. Killed my kin. Oh, the law won't deal with her. I sure will. Fifteen views. <laughs> Compared to the two million she had. That's funny. Decorated police officer, loving wife, devoted mother. She was a woman who had it all until she cracked. Well, we had no smoking gun, but I knew without a shadow of a doubt Lee Harris killed her ex husband in cold blood. Where's the videotape? Lee committed not one, but multiple homicides. Hey, Mama. On camp. There we go. We had her. It tested positive for hallucinogenic properties. It was obvious that that magic pot it was messing with her brain. She was seeing things. She didn't know what she was doing. She knew exactly what she was doing. Uh, In a but turn of events, she was under a Lee trance, Harris though, man. Of all charges. So I played the only card I had left. Went after her for her original crime, the murder of Mason. I killed Daddy. That's on me. It be alone. Who'd you see? Mom and Dad. And what were they doing? Fighting. They were fighting. It was about me, as usual. You killed Daddy. You felt safer in the woods with a dead girl's spirit than you did with your own parents. Yeah. I was much happier with Priscilla than I ever was with you. Wow. That is that is cold, man. Ah, oh, you can't even see my shirt and tie. My camera's blocking. I know the Roanoke show was a popular show. We find the defendant. But I couldn't send a woman to jail based on ghost stories. Not guilty. Oh, dear me. I'm mean, sure Lee Harris dodged a sentence. I think she lost a lot more. Yep. Cracked. What is this? Cracked. What is that? Lee Harris, equally reviled and celebrated. She is one of Lana. the provocative and polarizing figures of our time. Lee endured and survived a harrowing experience. Lana Winters. 
the murder trials of Lee Harris captured the hearts that is Lana Winters <laughs> asylum crossover baby welcome to the Lana Winters special oh what a nice Briarcliff exposed I like that because of who you are and what you've been through I mean, Jesus. Escaping bloody face. You killed your own son. Oh yeah. Bloody face. Flora Harris was reported missing by her grandparents an hour before we went on the air. Where is she, Lee? What are you talking about? Jesus. Lee, please sit down. I have to find my daughter. Whoa! Fucking hell! That's an AR. Whoa! 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 Oh fucking hell! It's it's him. Not. You have an opportunity to tell your truth. I can see the pain you're in. What? I know that pain. She's managed to. She talks too much. <laughs> that guy filming in the corner. And he am name. Extraordinary special edition of Spirit Chasers. We investigate the Roanoke House, the star of My Roanoke Nightmare. His familiarity <laughs> with the house will guide our team to capture evidence of spectral visitations during the cycle of the Blood Moon. Oh, cool. What are we watching? What am I watching here? What happened with Lee? We spared no expense rigging the house with full spectrum cameras, capturing ultraviolet to infrared images. They'll be the most helpful in the dark. This can't be the. It can't. The series can't finish on this. On these. On these guys getting slaughtered, man. These guys are obviously going to get slaughtered. Shit! What was that? Uh, I almost peed my pants. <sighs> All right, get out of there, then, man. Just get out now. Whoa! Fucking hell, Lee. What's she doing here? Oh dear. I don't want to see the chins. Nah, oh. fuck off. Spectacular. Spectacular. That's a thermal capture. You see that blue? Whatever made the cabinet fall is colder than everything else in the room. The chins. That is creepy. What? Did you see her? She was right in front of you. Nah, Lee's Lee's turned, mate. Oh, they're fucked. They are fucked. No, 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 no. Why can't you hear any of that? Oh, no, nurses. Nurses? Ah, uh, Lee's, Lee's switched. Lee's switched. Jesus Christ. Flora's really happy with this outcome. I guess she hates her mum, innit, for killing her dad, but she's only a kid. <laughs> give it give it ten years and she'll be like, why the fuck did I agree to let my mum die? Who how did the house blow up though?
Oh, the police are next. See ya. Okay, all right. Roanoke is done. A great, great series. Oh, apologies if you can hear this guy outside, man. I don't know what he's doing. But that ending, man, it was Lee. Oh, it was Lee. So Flora went. So Flora was mi reported missing an hour before Lee went on air with Lana Winters. And then Lot Polk came. He basically crashed the interview with a fucking assault rifle, started shooting up the place. He managed to knock out Lana Winters and he was about to shoot Lee, but then someone intervened. We don't we don't know who. But he died. And then it and then it cut to like some spirit chasers program where they broke in to the house. It's so funny, man. Whoever stumbles across whoever want whoever like purposely looks for the house because they want to get views or whatever. As soon as they start seeing some weird shit, they're, they're, they're t they change their mind instantly. Like, oh my god, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like, yeah. Did you honestly not think you were going to die? You actually saw footage of people's intestines being fucking taken out of their stomach. And they, so they broke in. I'm trying to get the timeline sorted out. So these spirit chasers, they broke in during a blood moon. And that's when Lee turned up as well. Now, hang on a minute. Something else I want to say. Did Flora go back to Roanoke on her own? An hour before Lee was meant to be on TV. That is that is quite funny because the only reason Lee went on TV with Lana Winters was because she was hoping Flora would see it. But Flora couldn't because she, she went back to Roanoke where there's no TV or anything. She wanted to be with Priscilla. So Lee going on the show was absolutely pointless. And how did the house blow up? Th does that get explained? The house literally blew up and Flora came walking out after it blew up. And when Priscilla shot Lee, more of the house blew up. Like, what is that about? Lee, Did Lee bring gasol gas with her? Gasoline with her? Pulled it all over the house before getting Priscilla to shoot her? I don't know. But Lee is there now. Lee is at Roanoke forever. Looking after Priscilla. Because that's the deal she made with Flora. So Flora and Priscilla must have had a really good friendship then. If, if Flora want... After everything Flora has seen whilst being there. She really wanted to come back because she wanted to see her undead friend Priscilla. And she wanted her mum to die because of it. Like, fair enough. She killed your dad. But at the end of the day, are you really going to want her to die? Like, your Uncle Matt. Uncle Matt died in this house, in the basement. And you want to go back, Flora? Really? Really? And Shelby also died in that house, Flora? You really want to go back? Man, oh man. I don't really have... I don't know, I don't really have a lot to say, man. It's a totally different ending than what I was expecting. So the butcher and that are all real. None of it was fake. And that fan expedition where they were all sat on stage, that was before the three day three day at Roanoke thing. Where they were they were very full of themselves. They had a lot of ego. Like their egos were fucking like going through the roof almost, apart from Lee and it was a nice I don't I don't think I've mentioned it but it was a nice crossover from Asylum with Lana Winters she looks exactly like she did in Asylum when she was interviewing who was she interviewing before bloody face turned up no I think she was being interviewed wasn't she but yeah she did she did shoot her own son on TV that was uh, that was something I forgot about Oliver Threadson that is that was the name of the original killer but the son what was the son called? He was Threadson. Something Threadson. 
but yeah anyway that's asylum man that's uh that's a different that's a different season but yeah i really did enjoy that season i liked the whole reenactment thing and when sydney was doing the return show i was like oh shit like the butcher isn't going to be agnes it's going to be someone else like, I think that was the thing for me, like, the suspense. I didn't know what they actually looked like. Like, the two nurses from the reenactment didn't look as scary as the real ones. So I was, like, I was a little bit scared of what they actually looked like because I knew that their faces would be more, like, deteriorated and more scary looking than the ones in the reenactment. So I liked that about it. And it was halfway through the season as well. So it's not like it got boring. No, well, it's not like we saw the real faces at the start and then it got boring. Like, it kind of it switched it up. We saw the reenactment of them all. And then they went back and then we saw the real ones. Like, carving up Lee's leg with the polks. You saw the real mama, the real butcher, the real witch you saw as well in episode 9. A little bit, like... She was on the black and white camera, but we also saw her with Matt just before Shelby killed him. I still can't believe Matt died. I'm taking my headphones out, man. I keep forgetting. I take my headphones out after after I finished filming because I'm not listening to anything. Anyway, I'd say I give I'd give Roanoke I'd give it a solid nine out of ten, maybe even a nine point five out of push. But it didn't, there wasn't one episode where it bored me. There wasn't one episode where it like really disappointed me or really pissed me off. Like it had, an, it had a nice flow throughout. And it kept me, it kept me hooked, man. Every episode that ended, like it was a shock. Because I didn't expect the, end, the, the episode to end where it ended. So I wanted more. And it's a good sign, man. If, if, if you see the credits... And you want more, then it's a good sign that it's a good TV show. So, very much enjoyed Roanoke. It was a very good season. I can't believe people don't like this season. Why is that? Is it because there's a lot of deaths? Or is it because it... I, maybe it can be seen as a bit repetitive with the reconstruction. And then they go back just to relive it all again. Like, that could be a bit boring to some people. And then the last two episodes... Uh, the last two episodes was really, I don't know, it was the introduction of the three kids, the fans of the show, with the GoPros on their helmets. Like, it was the introduction of them, and then it, it was the end of Manet. It was the end of Sarah Paulson as well, um, Audrey. And, that, and we found out Lee was the only survivor. Or could that be a trick, where it said... Only one person survived. Was the, could that be Flora then? Was that is that the trick? Only one person survived. That was Flora, because Lee did die. I wonder if they ever recovered Lee's body. And when Cricket, Cricket, was being approached by the Pigman, and Cricket went crow a toeing, in front of him, and he he didn't disappear. Maybe because it's a blood moon, it didn't work. But I'm sure it worked. Elias done it in the reconstruction. I know it was a reconstruction. But they still included that to make it, like, as if it worked. Like, saying Croatoan makes them disappear. But maybe because it wasn't a blood moon, it didn't work. I'm not sure. It was the season for me with the most jump scares. I think it's the scariest season um, so far. I haven't heard about the other ones. But that one, that, the Roanoke was definitely the scariest season. So, I'm going to put it in my top seasons just because it had the most scary um, jump scares. Which I like, man. I do like jump scares, don't get me wrong. I might scream and shout and be, you know, scared. But I do quite like jump scares. And this season was full of them. So it's definitely one of my top American Horror Story seasons. Anyway, I am going to stop it there, guys. So thank you for watching this, the, this reaction to the finale of Roanoke. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, you can watch the full reaction to this episode over on my Patreon um you can also watch well you can you can watch the full reactions to the whole of roanoke if you wanted to you can also watch the full reactions to season one murder house season two asylum season three coven season four freak show and season five hotel 
as well as Roanoke. And if you're watching this on YouTube, this is the finale of Roanoke. That would definitely mean that there are episodes of Cult uploaded to my Patreon as well for early access. Also in full reactions. Um, the episodes will be up here. So episode 1, 2, however. And then, I don't know, because the future Chasman will put writing on the screen here to let you guys know what's on my Patreon for early access. But Cult will definitely be on there like maybe even half the season but i'm not sure yet so just read what it says up there okay so thank you guys for watching again really did enjoy roanoke a solid 9 to 9.5 out of 10 loads of jump scares it was very good it had me i fell for almost every jump scare but that's me <laughs> okay Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you for episode one of Colts. See you later.